In this video, I'm going to show you real quick how to go about downloading the Rockwell Connected Components Workbench or CCW software from the Rockwell website. I will, of course, have a link available to you that brings you right to it um, in the lab as well as in Canvas. But if you don't have that link accessible and if you want to, um, you know, it's pretty, pretty straightforward, you can simply Google it. You can Google um, Rockwell and you can see it's already kind of uh, in there, Rockwell connected components workbench and then that's going to bring us to the top choice is design and configuration software um, rock automation we'll click on that so this page is a, a good summary of what the CCW software is it has lots of information as far as um, some videos and some literature as well as uh, details on the system requirements for your computer to run it and as we kind of get about a couple, a little bit, you know, a little bit down the page, we have a, an area here on the page for download software. And we have two choices. We can download the standard edition or we can request a standard edition DVD. Um, if you clicked on request a DVD, that's going to probably make you fill out a form from Rockwell. And then you'll have to wait on one to be mailed to you. Um, we have a stack of discs at the, uh, at the school. I can always hand one out if you're available. Uh, but if you don't want to wait around for a disc, you can perform the download. So you would click on the download the standard edition choice. When we get that will bring us to a uh, the download page and we're going to basically choose what we want to download. Um, there's a couple icons here. There's one is kind of a straight go to right to the download or show downloads. The uh, yellow looking PDF icon is actually the release notes. The release notes are always going to be really useful to, uh, to let you know kind of what's new in, in the software. That's really uh, helpful if you're upgrading from a previous version to a, to a newer version. And then uh, you can also hit the select files, which lets you kind of pick and choose the files you want to, um, to download. Now, it might actually make you log in before you get to this screen. If you don't have a login account, uh, you just create one. It's simply an email address and a password and uh, to, to uh, allow you to, to move on to the download section. So there are a few things you could choose here. And at this moment, we don't really need to worry about these other things. I would uh, only download the uh, very first option, which is the configuration software. And it even puts in there a free download. So that's Connected Components Workbench, standard, multiple languages edition, version 13. It's about a three gigabyte download. We're gonna click that box. That will now um, animate the download button. It turned red and has one thing in the cart. So I will press download. And one last time, it just kind of confirming and we say download now. Now how Rockwell does their oh, last step will be to uh, accept the user agreement. Um, and that will now bring us to the, uh, to the download section or to the download. So what, what, what Rockwell does, one thing that Rockwell does with their software downloads are it is, is that it creates a executable as a download manager. So you'll see this little executable file had got created down here. You want to click on this, because at this moment, um, there's nothing else that's going to happen until you, you click on this. If you chose direct download, well, that's going to basically be um, kind of the old fashioned way of downloading. And if anything got interrupted, you know, if the three gigabyte file, it could take an hour, perhaps you know, to download, maybe if anything got interrupted along the way, it basically you have to start all over again. Whereas this executable file is a managed download. If something actually did get uh, um, interrupted midway through, it actually retains its progress and you can start where you left off. So I'm going to just basically click on that, that executable. It will open the, uh, the download manager and it will start to download. So the download uh, progress bar is going to be right here. It's telling me what I'm actually downloading if I have multiple. And it does give me an estimate of time. I find that this estimate of time is, uh, is kind of all over the place, but uh, you can kind of see your percent complete. Now, one other thing to note while it's downloading is that it will put the download into a default folder. And typically it is the root C, C drive 
and then it creates a folder called RA for Rockwell Automation. So at the root level of C, it will be a, a folder called RA. And you can click on open and it'll open it up. I'm going to go ahead and pause this download. I'm not going to sit here and, and wait for this entire thing to download. So I'm just going to hit pause. That'll stop it. But if I click on this open, I just want to show you that it does open up the file manager um, folder for that. So I'm at the RA and I have some various things in here that I've already downloaded. But one of the ones, this is what you will see once you uh, you do download. And that is, uh, you'll have this 13.00.00 CCW, uh, INT for probably international, STD for standard, DVD part one. And you might have um, something else there as well. You still have to extract this RAR file, basically. So, so you have to double click this and extract it. And then once you extract it, it will put it into a, um, there's part two, the RAR right there. It'll put it into a folder um, which is down here. So, to, so this file and this file will, uh, will kind of, um, be the download. You'll double click on this file, extract it. And that'll now basically extract the contents of the DVD into this folder. And at this point, you're just going to run setup.exe and that will finish the actual installation of the CCW software on your computer.